all right so how's it going hope you're all doing well and this is another episode of the gray area and for the first time i'm gonna be biased all right so these are the best 144p slash 4k gpus that you can get for around 400 to 500 dollars or if you can get it for cheaper you're good so we're looking at the rx 6800 xt we're looking at the rtx 3080 10 gigabyte 12 gigabyte version whatever you can get we're looking at the rx 7800 xt and the rtx 4070 the beloved uh, rivalry between these two gpus so yeah what's my favorite gpu of them all that one over there this is the nvidia dell rtx 3080 so i got that bad boy for 320 dollars now there are some drawbacks for uh, when it comes to the older gen gpus being this one the rtx 3080 and the 6800 xt let's talk about the 3080 first since this is the gpu that i have and basically one of the biggest disadvantages that this gpu or at least that particular model is a pretty hot gpu when it comes to run it needs uh, more adequate cooling and the vrm temps the vrm temps that, that are behind the gpu is not the same gpu temperature you know this is a different stuff it actually runs hot so it, these this gpu usually goes for around 85 to 90 degrees celsius and the gpu die itself usually runs at around 80 degrees celsius so you either need some undervolting to be done or you really need to crank up the fans to 100 percent so 100 percent i'm gonna do both <laughs> you know so yeah other than that the rtx 3080 when it comes to the performance let me just put that aside it's a great gpu when it comes to 1440p gaming uh it's got nvidia cuda acceleration which would do and in some other intensive tasks other than gaming like video editing or rendering for example yeah the only difference between this gpu and the rx 6800 xt is that i haven't got the rx 6800 xt anywhere with that one uh why would i do so i don't know really that one was actually for cheap and i'm pretty sure i will suffer using this gpu but yeah that's another topic for another day let's just talk about what we have right now the arc 6800 xt is pretty identical to the arc 7800 xt in terms of performance uh which is the same gpu that goes for around the same pricing 400 to 420 dollars used uh the only drawback is with these older gen gpus that they are running hot of course and they require really beefy power supplies like the rtx 4070 7800 xt you can really go buy with uh, something like a 600 to 700 watt power supply but that one you'd need a really adequate power supply you know so this is the biggest you know disadvantage uh the gpu kind of draws around 300 watts off the wall this is crazy uh these two gpus while the 4070 7800 xt are a bit dialed down like for around 250 to 280 watts so yeah that's actually an improvement and of course what the 4070 has that not on the other gpu has which is the lss3 a uh, better ray tracing technology but the lss3 being the main thing while the 7800 xt uh, has better performance it's actually one of the faster gpus so people really gravitate towards the 7800 xt yeah and there's also that v uh, vram temperatures so that's something to keep in mind now what's actually my favorite option the thing is i would never go wrong with any of the four gpus if i can get under 500 dollars or for around that price people really love the 7800 xt for the performance it provides and people i don't know why but they don't love the 4070 as much even though i usually find the 4070 for 530 dollars 500 dollars would this extra 30 dollars would make that difference you know for you between the 4070 and the 700 xt i'm a bit biased towards nvidia to be honest i don't know why but they're actually now not as expensive as they used to be and the gap is not that big so why wouldn't i go with the 4070 this is the question that i'm leaving to you guys i really don't know why but yeah let's just go with the wave and say that the 7800 xt is one of the best gpus that you can get for around 500 dollars so yeah stay tuned for that and that's been it this is the gray area and these are the four best gpus if i got any um uh what what do you say any tips for you if you decided to get any of these gpu use please don't get a dell version or hp version or whatever version you're gonna just get an aftermarket cooler gpu at least with anything over the 3070 um in terms of the amd side 6700 xt so yeah that's been it if you like the video press on that like button if you want to see that can subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace